this is for Sag. I'm going to do something different. Okay, so we're going to do the signs and see. So, like, this will be a Sagittarius dealing with the Aries. How does the Aries person feel about Sagittarius and what actions will they take? So, this is a Sag dealing with the Aries, okay? Sag dealing with the Aries. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so whoever this person is, they are coming towards you, like, really quickly. That's the actions they're going to take. And you're not going to see it coming. <laughs> like, I feel like you guys could be a little blocked off, guarded. But this person is coming, and I don't, I don't think you see it. Could be a Leo. Or no, it's not a Leo. It's an Aries. I'm so used to just reading the cards. Okay. So, whoever this person is, they're rushing towards you. You're not going to see it coming. Um, you make this person very, very happy with the Sun card. And they are holding on to you for their life. Okay. So, that's those of you dealing with the Aries. Now, this is you guys dealing with the Taurus. So, this is going to be a Sagittarius dealing with a Taurus. Okay. Okay, we have the four of wands. This person wants to marry you, live with you. But here's the thing. This person's obsessed with you. So this person feels like they cannot let go of you. Okay, they want to be tied to you. So they like want to live with you. They want to marry you. But there's an obsession here. Knight of wands. Okay, you're going to need to be careful with this person because this person could have a tendency to come in and out of your life. They might even come in and out of your house. But this person has some type of a toxic player energy going on, okay? So let's see, Gemini. Sagittarius dealing with a Gemini. Let's see. Gemini and a Sag. Sag dealing with a Gemini. Ooh, that card tried to... <laughs> the Emperor. So this person's very stubborn. Alpha, male, female. They're going to message you. So if you're expecting to hear from a Gemini, you will. Um, let's pour one more for this Gemini. They also want to see you face to face. Oh, oh, the card fell on the floor. Imagine that. Let me pause it. Hold on, guys. Okay, it was the strength. So this person's being very stubborn. It's very hard for them to hold back. Okay. So this person's holding back from you, been holding back communication. Let's get one more. How does this Gemini feel about Sagittarius? Oh, four of cups. They could feel like you're rejecting them. No, I got to get another one. We can't end it there. How does this Gemini feel about Sag? They feel like you're a missed opportunity. Oh man, that one went flying. This person's energy is all over the place seven of swords wow they're telling you to like hold back and reject this person or maybe you already have this person is like deceitful so this gemini you know what this gemini has two faces too you see this shit two-faced this gemini could have been trying to play you or something and i didn't think you'd find out yeah the fool they're telling you to go on a new journey like get away look three of cups this person had you in a third party or something they're telling you to like move away from them but this person is going to message you but they're kind of warning you not to deal with them okay so aries taurus gemini cancer sagittarius dealing with a cancer how does the cancer feel what actions are they going to take Three of Wands. They're waiting for you. The Hanged Man. Boy, are they waiting. <laughs> this person is just sitting around waiting for you, Sagittarius. I mean sitting around waiting. Like they're at the dock of the bay. Look, they're all waiting. It's, she's like looking out to the ocean. Well, when Sagittarius going to come? 
I'll just hang around here, you know, just chill out and hang. And then here the broad is again looking out the window, like, when is Sagittarius coming home? It looks like she was even drawing something down there waiting on you. <laughs> so whoever this Cancer is, they're waiting for you. This is funny. Oh, but they no longer are waiting. This person's going to come in quick. It's like they know. Oh, how sweet. This person ain't waiting for nothing no more. So this person was waiting. They were out of crossroads trying to figure out what to do. And it's like all of a sudden spirit hit them and they're like, I got to go to Sagittarius because Sagittarius is where my happiness is. They see you guys as married with the kids, the dog. Okay. So this person's going to come. If you've been dealing with a Cancerian who's been not making any moves, they're coming. Okay. So let's see. What's after Cancer? I'm not used to doing these in a row. Cancer. Leo. Sagittarius dealing with a Leo. Sag dealing with a Leo. Four of Wands. So this person wants commitment. They want stability. Oh, they view you as single. So they view you in a very high light. They think you're very good looking, you're independent. They view you as somebody they could settle down with. They are at a crossroads, they're thinking about you. Aw, oh, this person does. They, they view you as complete emotional fulfillment. Look at this. Oh, look who's at the bottom. The Ace of Cups with the Temperance. This person's in love with you. Whoever this Leo is, they love you. And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So if you guys had a Leo that walked away, they're going to come back. And they're going to communicate with you. Aww. Then we have the Magician. They're manifesting a return. So they're going to communicate with you because they want you back. They view you as family. Somebody they can marry, have a family with. They feel like you're very independent. They love that about you. Like whoever this Leo is, they love that you handle everything on your own. They love that. Okay, so Leo, who's next? Virgo, is it Virgo? Let's see. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo. I'm pretty sure it's Virgo. We're just going to say Virgo. If I miss a sign, just comment. I'll do it in the next video. So Sagittarius dealing with a Virgo. And yeah, I was counting with my hands. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's see. Three of Cups. So they want to reunite with you, this Virgo. Oh, this Virgo is in love with you. They feel like you're very loving, very kind, very loyal. why I just get like it looks like this chick is praying I just feel like this person could be praying for a like reunion with you whoever this Virgo is oh my goodness holy shit Sagittarius you guys are not going to believe what just came out we have the king of cups and the four of wands oh <laughs> Whoever, and this is why, this is why the freaking Virgo always comes out for your readings. Those of you dealing with a Virgo is in love with you. Like, you guys are in love with each other and want to reunite and live together. Like, this Virgo, they know that you're, like, the one they want to marry and settle down with and have a home with. I want to pull one more. Like, they know you're the one. They don't even question it. Ooh, and here they come. They're about to make their move on you. Yep. And they're going to give you equal give and take. So if this person hasn't been giving you equal give and take in the past, they're about to. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, the star. This person's your destiny. See, and you know what is crazy, y'all? I don't do these readings. I, I see it in other tarot videos. I'm like, mm, yeah, should I? And then today I woke up and it was like one of my guides kept saying, you have to do the signs today. And I'm like, I don't feel like doing the signs today. And they're like, we don't care what you want. So see, there's a reason I did these. Some of you guys needed these messages because maybe you were unsure about who to pick or who, you know, who's who. Those of you dealing with a Virgo, this person's your destiny. Like this is for some of you, but whoever is resonating with this, this person is your destiny. Like, and I feel like this person's like praying. Like, I feel like this person may have never even prayed a day in their life, but there's something about their praying. It's like you give this person, I don't know who this is for, but you guys give this person hope. Like, I feel like sometimes I'm picking up on somebody's energy. It's a Virgo. This per and I'm getting cold chills, so this is how I know it's an it's a it's a spirit guide help letting me channel into this person's mind. This person has felt lost. And when they're not with you, they're not happy. And it's like, I feel like they kind of feel like they don't even have a reason to live. But something about you gives them hope. Like it gives them hope that there is like a better way to live or that there's a better future ahead. There's something, you're like a star to this person. You're light to this Virgo. So whoever this Virgo is, they're coming for you. They want to actually live with you and marry you. Okay, so that's, wow. So that Virgo, y'all better quit playing with that Virgo. Um, okay, so who's next? Libra, I think. Virgo. Yeah, Libra. So Sagittarius dealing with a Libra. Three of Pentacles. This person wants to build with you, collaborate with you. And then we have, oh, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for the Sagittarius to come. So this person's waiting on you. They want to collaborate with you. Ooh. Wow. We have three, three, three in this reading. There, This person could have had you in a third party, by the way. But it's like they want to come back and reunite with you and offer you a commitment. 333, three, three, there's your sign. This person's watching you. Oh, man. And boy, are they in their head. What have you been posting? <laughs> this person's like... Um, <laughs> it's like this person's like having a... Like a headache or a migraine at the thought of watching you. Yeah, they're waiting for you. This person wants to invest their time and energy into you. I think, I get that. For some of you, you guys left this Libra. Oh, look at this Eight of Swords. You left this Libra and they are waiting for you to return. And it's giving them a migraine while they're waiting. Like, this person's like, damn, when is Sagittarius going to come back? Like, I don't know if they're playing bullshit mind games, thinking that, oh, well, I just want to talk to Sagittarius. Sagittarius will come back. And they're getting a damn headache waiting. It's like they, they're realizing that you're not coming. This Libra's got to take some action. Yeah, they're holding on to you, though. I don't see any action. They sure ain't letting go of you. Let's ask. Are they going to take any action? What is this leaper doing? Because if they're waiting for Sag, boy, they're going to be waiting a while. The Hierophant. They're calling on God for this. Like, God, please make Sagittarius make a move. <laughs> I feel like they want commitment with you. Because we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. They're holding on to you. And they are in love with you. So this person is in love with you, this Libra. Yeah, there was a tower. So you guys had a split. And then you come back together. So there will be a coming back together here. This person's in love with you. 
they want a brand new beginning with you. They might actually be leaving a third party to come back to you. Yeah, see, I got that. There's a death and a rebirth. So there was like an ending and there's going to be a rebirth between the two of you. I feel like this person has to leave a third party to come to you. They're going to. Yeah, and if they're if there's a they're leaving somebody here. If there's a third party interfering, they want that person gone. Yeah, here they come with their Knight of Cups. So this this Libra will return. I don't know why I'm pulling so many. Yeah, they see that you're single. They don't want you out here single. They're watching you. Whoever this person is, they're watching you. They feel like you're blocked off. I don't even think you see this person watching you. Yeah. They are manifesting, though. So this person, like, even if they're being quiet on you, know that they got tricks up their sleeves. I just get this huge energy of watching. Yeah. You make this person really happy. Ten of Swords. Yeah, they're not happy without you. Ever since they ended things with you, they have not been happy. Yeah, and they're still tied to you and obsessed with you. This person's obsessed with you. I'm going to pull one more. I don't know why. I'm just, I feel like there's something that needs, I feel like some of you guys need clarity. Because I get so much Libra and Virgo. Oh, what's hidden? <laughs> we got the devil and the moon, so they're hiding something here. What are they hiding? <laughs> They're hiding how passionate they are about you and that they want a passionate new beginning. They also could have like a sex addiction. They could be hiding that from you for some of you. Be careful with that. If this person, you know what I'm getting? If this person comes back to you and can get you alone, they're going to try to like seduce you. So... Um, this person could try to use seduction to lure people back in. So be, be uh, aware of that. Yeah. This person wants to come back and heal things with you. But this person has some type of a sexual um, plan with that magician, the devil, and the ace of wands. They're going to try to like seduce you or something. Oh, that knight of wands just flew out. Okay, who is next? Libra. Libra, Scorpio. Sag dealing with a Scorpio. Boy, I need it. I need to get a little bit quicker. A lot of tarot card readers, they'll just lay the deck down and then pull the cards like this and have them ready to go. I don't like that because I always feel like the, the deck needs to be shuffled and that they need to fly out. <laughs> Let's see. Sag dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, they want victory with you. They also feel like you get a lot of attention. And they want commitment with you, okay? I'm going to end it there, short and sweet. They want a commitment. They're going to come towards you with a commitment. They want victory. Look at that, King of Wands. They're very passionate about you. I feel like this person is watching you too. So that's Scorpio. Let's see, Sag, dealing with a Sag. I'm going to rant for a minute. You know what else is so annoying? Have you ever seen those readers? They'll have like all the cards, like let's say 12 cards laid out on the table. And there's nothing else in the video but them just talking. You never see their hands. Those cards never move. And you can, you can hear them in the background making cards move in the video. But their cards on the video never move. And it, oh, it just frustrates me. I don't know. Rant over. <laughs> Right over. <laughs> okay, because I like to see the cards. Like, that's why I lay them out for you and I explain to you guys kind of like what they're mean. Because I hate that. There's nothing worse than seeing 12 cards on a table and you never see the reader's hands. You never see the cards move. It's just them talking. And it's, it's annoying because you don't really know what those damn cards are doing if they're not moving them on camera. So it just it annoys me. But whatever. Sag on Sag. Ooh, this person's having anxiety, stress, worry, up late at night thinking about you, thinking about everything they've done to you.
they are going to communicate. This person is going to come and communicate to you, tell you like what they're thinking, what they've been worried about. This person does kind of have their heart blocked off a little bit. They're very indecisive. It's like they're trying to figure something out here. They will communicate with you. Yeah. They want to start over with you. This person wants a new beginning. Yep, they want to reunite. So the Sagittarius that you're dealing with will come back, reunite. Um, they're having anxiety when you're not around. So Sag dealing with a Capricorn. Sag dealing with a Capricorn. Person's very passionate about you. They're very attracted to you too. They might not want a commitment. They might just want sex. This person could be kind of manipulative. Let's see what they're manifesting with that magician. What are they manifesting with that magician? Yeah, they want to come back. If there was an ending, they want to come back from that and they want to communicate. So they're manifesting a communication after an ending, but they're very indecisive. This person's just back and forth, back and forth at a crossroads. There is love here, though. There is love here. This person does love you. They're very indecisive. Yeah, be careful with this person because they're, the, they're coming up as a knight of wands. So this person could have the tendency to come in and out of your life. But they are going to come back. And they love the sex. So they may not want a commitment. They might just want the sex. So watch out for that. Deal with an Aquarius. Sagittarius is dealing with an Aquarius. Five of Cups. This person's like in despair, regret. Yeah, they're thinking about walking away. Well, and then they come back. <laughs> so it's like they think about walking away, but then they come back. They want to offer you love. So if they left, they want to come back. Yeah, this person's very passionate about you. This person thought about living with you. They feel like for some reason there's it's like a missed opportunity with you. It's like they regret something. Or maybe they, they're off in their head. They feel like you could be rejecting them. Because they thought about like living with you, committing to you. They might think you're rejecting them, and it really gets them up in their head. What else? This person's in love with you, though. This person loves you. They've done fallen in love with you. So it's like they could have tried to walk away from you, but they can't. They just keep coming back. It's like no matter how much they try to give up or think about giving up, they just can't judgment they want to come closer to you they if there was an ending they want to revive it they want to come back yeah this person feels like heartbroken and left out on the cold like when they're not with you like they they know they can't live without you wow that hold on flew on the floor let's see the emperor and the seven of cups reversed they were laying like that. This person's very like macho man. You might not even know this person's hurting or heartbroken. But they have the seven of cups in reverse. So like if they were confused or they, they were thinking of other options, they, they know you're the option. Like their heart belongs with you in this cup. So they know they're in love with you. What was that? This card flipped over. Yeah, they want to invest time with you. 
They want to stop being a player. I told you the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Wands is in reverse. They don't. They're not looking for other options because they feel like they found the one with you. Damn, that card flew too. I'm gonna have to pause it. Hold on. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. This person wants to build and collaborate with you. <clears throat> then we have the Ten of Swords. So there could have been an ending. Yeah, look. This is good. Okay. So you guys could have an ending or had an ending. They want to come back and start all over. Because we go from the Ten of Swords to the Ace of Swords. So it's like they could have thought about walking away or something. But they, it's like I said, they can't. Yeah, this person will communicate with you. Come back towards you. Like they know they can't let go of you. <laughs> and if there's competition, they're going to fight for you. Because they know that you are their soulmate. This person knows who you are to them. They know they want to grow with you. Like they want to grow old with you. They're really in their head about you though. Seven of Wands. They want to fight for it though. They want to... This person knows <laughs> that you don't let people in your bubble. Look at you. You're in this damn bubble. Nobody is annoying you. Nobody is getting to you. And then all of a sudden that one little wand is in your bubble. That's them. They will not give up on you. It's like they have to be in your little bubble. Yeah. And if like anything happened between the two of you, they want to move to calmer waters. person's in love with you queen of cups this person can't let go of you so whoever this aquarius is they're a hot mess but they're not going anywhere i feel like they've tried but they can't um let's see who's after aquarius pisces sag dealing with the pisces sagittarius dealing with the pisces Person wants to heal things with you. Oh, I like him. This person wants to see you face to face. And they're waiting. It's faded. It's a faded connection and they know it. They're waiting on God to make this happen. Like they have faith that one day you guys will be together. Right now you might be in separation, but they do want a commitment and they do want to come towards you. So, his Pisces is coming back. They are thinking and contemplating, and then here they come. They will fight for you, too. If there's competition, they're going to fight off the competition, okay? And we even have the High Priestess down here with the Queen of Cups, Piscean Energy, with the Knight of Swords. They're going to rush in. So, be expecting your Pisces to come rushing in here, okay? And it's after an ending. So, there was like an ending... But they come back. They're not going to let go of you. Whoever this Pisces is. I'm going to pull just a few cards for what's coming today and tomorrow. Who is coming towards Sag today and tomorrow? Who is coming towards Sag today and tomorrow? Okay, you got somebody coming to communicate. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody who loves you. This person feels like they are being rejected by you. Or that they missed an opportunity with you. Oh, you're at a crossroads. Either that or they're at a crossroads. Capricorn energy. Some of those devils coming for you, Sag. This person cannot let go of you. Whoever this person is, it's like they just cannot let go of you. Yeah. They want victory, success with you. They want your attention. Whoever this person is that's feeling like you're rejecting him, they want your attention. 
could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person's going back and forth in their head about you. I think they're trying to figure out when's the perfect time to communicate with you. Because I, I don't know, I just get this person, whoever this is, this is that devil energy. And it's like they're just staring at this coin. I feel like you're the coin. And they're just staring at it like, oh, when is the right time to go talk to this coin or to get this coin? And that wolf next to him, that's supposed to be a dog, looks like a wolf to me. I don't know, it's like you're being preyed upon. <laughs> like, like you guys are being stalked is what I feel. Somebody from the past is coming with a love offer to Sagittarius. So, you could have known this person since childhood or just from the past. Yeah, they want to invest with you. This person's waiting on you. They're coming today or tomorrow. The Emperor Aries energy. This is your emperor. This is your person. Yeah. This person is going to message you. They want to start a new cycle with you. If they pissed you off, they want you calm. They want to move to calmer waters. This person is in love with you. Gemini energy. person views you as family, as the complete emotional fulfillment. They're very off in their head about you, though. Yeah, whatever ending you had, whatever burdens they have, they want to remove that. Yeah, they also, they're in their head and burdened by the thought of you having competition. Or them having competition for you. They don't like that at all. King of Cups. You guys got several people coming towards you here the next couple days. Whoever this person is. If you are if you want to just say this is all one person. Which I don't feel like it is. I feel like there's a couple. Whoever this person is. They're in love with you. Like I know they're in love with you. You guys had an ending. You're going to have a rebirth with this person. And if you thought you got rid of them, you didn't. They're, they're going to penetrate your bubble. Like I said, this person's getting in your bubble. Whether you like it or not, they're getting in there. This is a faded event. This is going to give you anxiety when this person comes back around. I'm not for sure if you want them. That card fell. They're going to give you equal give and take. And then look what fell. This person is going to offer you a commitment. This person is going to offer you a commitment. You don't see this coming. You're completely blinded. Yeah, there was a tower moment. This is going to shock the shit out of you when this happens. Like, it's going to shock you. Yeah, this person's not letting go of you. Like, they're in despair. And they also are not going to let go of you. Like, they're holding on to you for dear life here with the Four of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to come offer you. Eight of Pentacles. They're going to focus on you. Like, their focus is going to be on you. They want to put work into you. Strength. It's going to take all her strength to do this, by the way. So don't be so hard on this person. This is a Leo, by the way, at the end here. Yeah, you don't see this, but it's very hard for this person to come forward, okay? So have a good one, Sag. Yeah, reunite. They want to reunite, okay? Have a good one, Sag.